overall, the attempts of me using Joss Glass Theory throughout my um, preliminary and main task has proven to be successful from my audience feedback. Um, I decided to incorporate Joel's Glass Theory in order to develop the forms and conventions of a media product because the layout of a general website has to be consistent and clear in order for the audience to actually be able to cooperate with it and find exactly what they're looking for. Joel's Glass Theory talks um, mainly about the scanning from left to right on a web page and I think from my audience feedback I've discovered that my web, both web pages, preliminary and main task, do essentially use this in order to present my web page is successful. Um, I also think that I've used Joel Sklar's theory effectively because Joel Sklar talks about how everything must have a certain place and that the web page is not overloaded with specific text or images and they have to be a balanced range in order for the audience to actually see what goes where and why. Um, I think that the use of the logo and charity name on my main task has worked quite well because mainly on websites you normally have the logo and the charity name in the top left hand corner and I think that both with my preliminary of a school web page and my main task either the school name or the charity name are both in the same place and um, by analysing throughout my research of other charities and general school websites I've discovered that this use of Joel's Glass theory in doing so is effective making my website even more successful.